Hey, what's up guys? Andre, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know, um, medyo napahinga tayo sa pagre-review, but nothing to worry about. I'm back and I'm pretty excited about my reviews. We have a lot lined up uh, for reviews. Don't worry, I'll be posting some contents on a regular basis, um, just like before. Yes, nakakamiss, but... You know, um, life happens. You know, family, work. Ito lang, na-miss ko rin na uh, mag-record at mag-post. Medyo nabakante yung channel natin, but nothing to worry about now. I'm just really excited na masimulan yung uh, pagre-review ko or yung pagbalik sa pagre-review with this new gear. Not really new, but you know, they just recently uh, released um, their project about a year ago. Yeah, hindi ko napapatagalin. This is from Z2 Mods and today we're going to review the Big Boss Mod. Alright. Pahipak muna. Shoutout pala. Um, Juice Costumix. This is Plan de Pudding. Huge shoutout pala sa Vapors Icons para sa Juice. Saka nila ako bumili. And sakto meron din sila nung MDL. Ah, sarap sarap. On top of the Big Boss mod is the Il Capo RDA also by Zito Mods. Uh, Re-review natin yan next. Ngayon, nahin lang natin yung mod. This was released, I believe, June or um, July last year. Kinda late, but um, of course, still in the market. Makakatulong din to para sa nagpaplanong bumili ng bagong mod. Para din sa mga owners na, syempre, para makatulong din. As usual, talk more about this. Um, the breakdown natin siya. I'll share my um, experience, pros and cons, of course. And I'll give you my rating, my personal rating for this mod. You know, just like before, how I review, ganun pa rin tayo. Babasahin ko lang yung counting specs sa inyo. Pahipak muna. Init. Again, specs tayo ng Big Boss mod. Compatible with 24mm um, RDAs. Um, and of course, um, smaller RDAs. Reverse polarity protection with locking feature, beefy copper internal connections, combination of Delrin stainless brass copper, interchangeable parts can accommodate dual parallel, single tube or single bat tube mod, series stack batteries, future enhancement includes quad bat para series capability which is already out by the way. It is also serialized which is good. Elegant laser engraving. I agree. And lastly, 100% Philippine made. This is not just locally released. This is also, you know, available uh, for international um, customers. I'll show you everything sa breakdown natin. Yun, of course, a huge shout out to Zito Mods, to Sir James Alvieso. Maraming maraming salamat for sending me this mod for review. I really appreciate it. But of course, as you know, Android Movapes, that won't change my opinion about the device. I'll tell you everything. Of course, highlight natin yung features. I'll share my um, experience, pros and cons, and all that shit. Kung natin patagalin, dive down tayo, break down, assemble ulit natin, and I'll um, give you some tips on how to clean this big boss mod. There you go guys, that will be um, my breakdown, assembly, and also the walkthrough of the parts of uh, Big Boss Mod. I'm using the El Capo, also by Zito Mods. Build is DC wires, 24 gauge fuse clapton, 5 full wraps, 3mm guide, reading at 0.08 ohms. Be careful, especially sa newbies, build is too low. Ako prefer ko lang talaga yung hot build. Open lang sa airflow is bottom, straight bottom. Mas gusto ko lang yung dense and warm to hot vapor and of course, mas flavorful. Pahipak muna. For me, first of all, ang gusto ko kasi dito is modular. Means, you know, dedicated siya na makalas at magawang iba. Meron siyang ibang purpose. It has different configurations which is dual parallel, a single bat na tube mod, and also stacked which is the series configuration. Kakalasin ko siya ngayon. Papakita ko sa inyo yung different configurations niya. Pero for now, bigay muna ako ng konting insights about this mod. Ayun, I really like the power um, considering na stainless siya. We know um, good conductor yung stainless but unlike brass, aluminum, copper, or silver, of course. Hard hitting pa rin talaga siya. Um, Na-compare ko na rin to sa iba. And hindi siya nalalayo ng output. Yun, first pro for me is the power. Kahit nga, again, stainless steel yung tubes niya. Yung nakikerry ng power from negative part ng battery pataas. Um, 
It's all good. Um, kasi beefy nga yung contacts niya and beefy din yung brass part niya na nakikere rin ng um, kuryente. So, I really like that. Ayun, focus ko rin pala yung vent holes niya. Meron siyang vent holes sa ilalim. Um, take dalawa ko na kung babalikan niyo yung breakdown, pinocus ko to. Hindi ko lang nabanggit yung vent hole. Hindi siya basta-basta umiinit. Of course, never chain vape on a full mech. And if you do, wala namang problema. But, okay, kayo magreklamo na umiinit yung bot niya. That's normal, okay? So, ayun, locking feature niya. Tinakita ko naman kanina sa inyo. Ayan, hindi siya nagpa-fire. Since may screw pa siya sa ilalim para i-unlock. Dahil hindi ko ginagamit yung copper string before. Ang locking pro nito, yung locking feature niya. So, hindi niya na kailangan luwagan yung bats. And wala namang part sa labas niya na nag-ground. In case madikit siya sa bakal, yung buong surface niya. Hindi siya mag-short. Hindi grounded. Which is also good. Ayan, pwede niyo siyang ilagay direct sa bag niyo. I'm using a pouch, syempre para hindi magasgas. Gumagamit ako ng ganito, nilalagay ko sa loob para hindi magasgas. Then nilalagay ko lang para hindi rin mag-auto fire. Then kapag ready na akong mag-vape, pag break na sa office, or lunch, or out, yun lang. That's one of the pros as well para sa akin. Aside from power and locking feature, the design, I like it. Um, some may say na this is old school. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, actually, um, binanggit ko rin to kay Sir James, sabi niya. Dinesign niya kasi to way back 2011 or 2012. Naging busy daw siya. Hindi na natuloy yung production. I guess, hindi na lalabas kasi yung classic style. I like it. I like it. Yun pala, another pro. Um, recently, nag-release sila ng booster kit nito. Which is actually same lang nito. Ito, 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 tsaka itong plate sa baba. Same lang siya. Actually, parehas na parehas. Later, sabihin ko sa inyo yung price point din ng booster kit. It will enable you to build lower than 0.30 on a series mode or series configuration. They say, um, lowest that you could go would be 0.20 ohms. That's what I suggest as well. Pero may nagsasabi na 0.15. I guess 0.15 is too low. It's still safe, but... Um, I don't suggest that. Unfortunately, wala ako nun. I'm unable to purchase one. Kung magkakaroon man ako, I will, um, you know, post another content in my channel para makita nyo rin yung performance. Ayun guys, sorry. Um, nalobat yung camera ko. So, I'm using my phone. Essential na di ako nakapag-charge kanina. Naputo tayo kanina regarding the para series um, configuration. Again, if I'll have one, I'll make sure to um, post a content in my channel. Para ma-share ko sa inyo yung experience. Pero nakita ko ang ganda niya. Ang ganda ng itsura niya. I suggest you check Yo Puppy Vlogs in YouTube. That's um, Levi's. Owner ng Vapor's Icons. Make sure na check nyo yun. Subscribe na rin kayo. Panoorin nyo yung mga reviews niya. Marami rin siyang reviews ng um, mga Pinoy mods. Yung subscriber ako na ni Sir. Shinocase niya yung para series configuration nito. Actually, all the configurations shinocase niya rin. Ako mag-showcase ko rin naman aside from the para series. Okay, so if for now, um, as your reference for the para series configuration, you can watch this video. Ayun, kakalasin ko to para mapakita ko sa inyo yung different features niya. Pasensya na maingay kasi umaga na. Kalasin natin, ganito na lang FaceTime. Una natin gagawin is yung single bat tube mod configuration niya. Luwagan muna natin yung negative copper contact. So, gagawin natin, since tube mod, kahit isa lang ang natin. Kasi isa lang yung kailangan natin dito sa dalawang stainless steel na tubes. Isa lang. Bago natin set aside to, kunin nyo muna yung button. So, dito kayo dito sa loob na grooves yung hawakan nyo para hindi siya mag-lock. Then, you may set aside this. So, dito, yung isang tube na binaklas natin, kakabit natin to. This will be your firing button. Ayan. Lock muna natin siya. Nakalock siya. Then, ito. Yung negative Um, or yung battery cover nya gawin natin, tatanggalin natin muna yung copper spring gawin natin, then tatanggalin natin yung copper negative contact nya pag nakaharap sa inyo, clockwise para mag unwind sya saluhin nyo sa likod saluhin nyo yan. so tabi nyo to baka mawala, so yan, eto ba? Diba? dito naman sa taas to so ganito sya magiging tube mod eto yung negative contact nya yung negative copper pin is size ng 510 ng atomizer. So, tatanggalin nyo siya para maging top cap. Hybrid top cap siya. Ito na yung making tube mode nyo. 
Okay? Try ko na rin gamitin. Um, still, very low build yung gamit ko dito. Be careful. 0.08 ohms. I don't suggest na. Try nyo sa tube mode. As much as possible, kung tayo sa safety. 0.20 or I guess 0.15 is considerably safe for single bat tube mode. Okay? So, papakita ko lang kayo sa inyo. Napakaganda. Napaka-pogi. Terno-terno. Ayan. Ito nyo. Yung boto niya. Yung may design. Yung Chinese character. And ah, ganda, ang ganda. Ayan. Alam, battery, syempre, magkakabit tayo ng battery. This is BTC 5A, nakarirap na. Dinuwing ng misis ko yung papel. <laughs> Tapos nirirap ko siya. Uh, may clear wrap yan. I suggest, kabit nyo muna yung atomizer, top cap atomizer, then sa ilalim nyo siya ikabit. Okay? Positive up. May vent hole naman sa taas. And dito, may vent hole din to. Hindi ko lang napakita sa inyo, but may space yan. Ito yung vent hole nyo. Kasi yan, vent hole tong space na yan. Basta yung nakita nyo sa loob, may butas kasing dalawa yun, yung sa middle rin. Wala siyang battery rattle, so which is good. Sukat siya. So kahit hindi na-adjust yung del rin part kanina nung button, walang problema, wala siyang battery rattle. Tapos to mix, sarap ng juice nyo. Let's fire tayo guys. So yung power niya, since hybrid, and beefy rin yung upper contact niya, lakas. Soft touch lang. Bilis ng ramp up. Walang misfire. Bottom airflow lang. Plug check. Ah. Again, single bat. Tube. Sarap. Hindi siya nalalayo dun sa power ng parallel. Um, surprising, surprising guys. Whew. Sarap ng juice ko eh. So, damandam ako siya ngayon. Clouds, man. Sarap, sarap, grabe. Uh. 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 Sarap, grabe. I really like the setup. Tingnan nyo naman. Sobrang compact. Liit lang. Handy. And ako, I um, personally prefer, you know, tube mods, single bat. Uh, whenever, um, you know, parang everyday carry. You know, walang misfire guys. Ang ganda. Lakas. Sorry, nalibang ako kayo pa. <laughs> Pero yan, this is the single bat configuration ng Big Boss Mod. Sobrang lupet, bagay na bagay sa El Capo RDA. Tama, nakakalasing ka na enjoy mo siya natin. Um, gagawin naman natin yung series configuration. Salasin natin yung button. Ito na matitira, di ba? Sabi mo na natin. Balik tayo dun sa sinetaside natin na remaining parts ng Big Boss Mod. Ano natin to. Since magsisiris tayo, dalawang tube yung gagamitin natin. So, dalawa na siya. Question is, paano magpapatong to? Paano magkoconnect? Ganito lang. Kung natita rin sa taas, tatanggalin nyo tong isa. Then, kakabit natin to. It could go either way. Walang problema. Ito. So, dito... Kapag hindi nyo na nakikita yung thread, stop muna kayo dyan. Then, eto naman. Kabit nyo siya. Sobrang smooth ng threading. Hindi sumasabay itong brass na connector. Sobrang smooth kasi niya. So, bagay nyo, lagay nyo muna ng gap. Then, ipasok nyo na yung married. Eto yung gamit ko pa rin kanina, VTC4. Parehas, positive up or positive down. Mas lang ang same direction yung punta kapag stack. Wala tayong magiging issue. Ayan, may sosobra talaga. Tsaka nyo ipapasok yung button nyo. So again, huwag nyo muna kipitan dito. Huwag nyo isasagad. Make sure nyo muna na flash yung button. Pag flash na yung button, sa kanyo, kipitan dito sa gitna. Okay? So, here is the um, Big Boss Mod in its series configuration. Unfortunately, wala akong build for series. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Joke lang, syempre hindi ko kayo na TS. <laughs> Nag-build ako ng series sa head RDA ko. So yung mga pansin nyo, bagay na bagay pa rin, stainless steel. Nag-build ako dito um, Cantal 0.6, 11 wraps, 3mm guide, 0.30, 0.31 ohms. MDL pa rin yung use natin. Let's fire! Same battery na gamit ko kanina dun sa dual parallel. Cloud check tayo, short drag lang. Medyo malakas talaga siya. Point out ko lang, ayan, naka-unlock siya, di ba? Pero pag binababa niya siya, since maganda yung spring niya sa firing button niya, hindi siya nag-auto-fire. But of course, considering safety, make sure na ilalock ko siya bago siya ilapag para di mag-auto-fire. Baka masanggi niyo kasi, but ito, ilalapag ko siya. Ayan, hindi siya nag-auto-fire. Ayan, LBC box, papatong ko siya hindi siya nag-auto pair. Okay? Sorry. Hawa ko lang. Nakasuspend. Pero kapag diniinan siya, pero pag ganyan lang, kahit dalawang baterya na yun mabigat yung materials, hindi siya nag-auto pair. Stick. So, maganda. Nag-hold up naman yung spring niya. Kanina pinakita ko sa close-up, ano siya, makapal and um, mahaba. So, maganda talaga. So, quick cloud check lang. Di na ako tatal kasi. So, Ewan ko lakas, so medyo mabilis ako lang binilled um, I should have used um, Clapton para mas mataas siguro resistance More on the safe, safer side siguro around 0.40 yung sweet spot ko kapag uh, series And never go below 0.30 as much as possible Para wala tayong issue kapag naka series kayo Okay, quick cloud check Masabog yung flavor Tuyo agad, lakas Lakas niya, di ko man lang drag Wide open pala Yung airflow ng head So yun, tama na Maninik out na ako eh So yan, pag ipapaba nyo Make sure na, malak Balik ko muna sa tubo kasi mas na-enjoy ko siya kahit na RDA tsaka battery syempre ayun nakita nyo naman yung different configurations ng um, big boss mod two mod ulit tayo il capo ulit yung build pa rin kanina yung VTC 5A pa rin and balik tayo syempre sa juice natin para di halo-halo yeah shout out close to mix lupit flanty pudding gamit ko ngayon 3MG Sabi na hilo ko kayo sa series. And yun pala Sir James, sayang di ko nasuot yung um, Big Boss na shirt. Parang maraming sa lahat pala doon. Uh, nasama sa laundry kanina, nagpa laundry kasi ako kanina. Since rest day, you know. So, yung mga pros na nasabi ko na kanina, tugtungan ko lang. Again, para series configuration, I'm really um, looking forward na magkaroon din nun syempre. Para ma-share ko rin sa inyo yung insights ko. Another pro pala, um, di ko nabanggit kanina, is upgrades. Marami silang upgrades na winowork on ngayon. We'll never know, they might release, you know, a different material for replacement kung saan man. I don't know yet. Well, latest release nila is for the El Capo RDA. This is the Apollonia. The um, resin drip tip na super pogi. Kulay gray siya. Hindi natin manasabi, they could release, you know, a different material for the tube mod. Possibly brass, copper, or what not. I don't know, baby, may kulay na stainless steel. Um, let's look forward to it. Hopefully, di ba, mag-release din sila. That's one of the good thing about Sir James' design. Since modular siya, everything is replaceable. Ano ba ba? Um, well, as you can see, the power on different configurations, sobrang lakas pa din. Again, guys stainless steel. Ramdam mo kasi yung voltage drop eh kapag stainless steel yung material ng tubo. Um, but dito, hindi ako, wala akong reklamo. I guess talagang nag-isipan nila na huwag i-sacrifice yung power by making the internals beefy. And yes, it paid off. Then, um, stainless steel, eto naman, hindi nila sinacrifice yung maintenance. Hindi siya Mahirap i-maintain kasi nga stainless steel and it would last long. You can never go wrong with stainless steel, nasabi ko sa inyo. Especially sa, you know, mga RDA. So, another pro pala for me, um, walang battery rattle sa single bat configuration or series configuration. Kahit ang atomizer, nag-try ako ng iba't ibang atomizer um, talaga. 
and I never had an issue. That's good. I really like it. Actually, puzzled pa rin ako kasi nga, hindi naman adjustable, hindi naman spring-loaded yung Delrin insulator niya. Pero still, walang battery rata. So, good job, um, Zito Mods, for that one. I'm loving this mod. I'm loving this mod uh, 100%. But, of course, it doesn't mean na uh, wala siyang flaws um, or wala akong concerns. Maybe nitpicking, pero I wanna let you know. As I mentioned, kahit this mod was sent to me for the purpose of this review, I won't change my opinion about this uh, device or this gear. Start lang ako sa cons ko with the misfire. Dito sa part na to. Sorry, nakakalasin. Dito sa part na to, yung spring niya dito. It will cause misfire. I can't say 100% na magiging misfire. Kasi nung nakuha ko siya, hindi naman siya basta-basta nag-misfire. Pero after a few days of use, nung ko na na-experience, I can't tell if nag-collapse siya or lumambot um, at some point. Pero it did cause misfire. Pinakita ko naman sa inyo yung workaround para gumana siya at para ma-avoid yung misfire. Yung pag-coil, gawin yung palaki. Dalawang wraps pa rin naman yun pero mas lakihan nyo yung isa. You can use um, pliers or long nose <clears throat> para lumuwag siya. Then make sure lang naba natin yung every time na linis nyo para bumalik yung unat niya and yung tigas ng spring. That's one of my cons for this. Sa mga subscribers na nanonood, if you have this and if it causes misfire, easy fix naman siya. And yun, sa pinakita ko kanina, balik tayo dun sa series configuration naman niya. Ang concern ko lang dun is meron siya kasing gap So, ito yung tinanggal ko yung part kayo na magkadugtong ito, diba? Meron siyang gap na ganito. Yung bigla siyang mayiging payat. Um, ewan ko, na-OC lang ako kasi may gap siya. I'm, I'm really hoping na meron silang um, ring na siguro yung butas-butas din na ring na ganito. Sana meron silang insert na nailagay dito para flush siya tignan. Maganda. But it doesn't affect the performance. Sana meron siyang ring na ma-provide dun sa pagitan para flash tignan, diba? Pag naka-series configuration kayo. Yun lang, wala na akong masabing ibang um, cons. Siguro, yun lang talaga yung major con for me would be the uh, misfire. But again, since na-figure out naman natin yung workaround sa kanya, then it, should, it shouldn't be an issue moving forward kapag nagawa nyo na yung um, proper coiling ng spring. And let's just hope na yung next release niya, okay naman si Sir James uh, for suggestion. And I'm hoping na makonsider niya rin yung nabanggit ko or napuna ko na yun. I'm confident na moving forward, hindi na ito magiging issue. Maybe they can replace the, um, the spring itself. Or ayusin nila yung coiling ng spring. Yun, punta tayo sa price point ng Big Boss Mod. Its retail price is at 6,900 pesos. Yes, it's pricey. But with all those configurations that you will get out of this mod, it's really worth it, guys. Imagine um, bibili kayo ng single bat na tube mod. I guess the most affordable, um, or at least one of the most um, affordable uh, tube mods out there, and also hard hitting, would be the Izanagi. I have the uh, Izanagi version 1.2 retailing at 2,200 pesos. Kana yon, may tube mod kana for 2,200. Then um, let's say bilitay ng um, dual bat na parallel. Pinta ko mura ko na kita, I guess is 3,500. Palagit na ting 3,000. Dual parallel na mod 3,000 pesos. So. Palagyan na lang natin yung pinakapura tube is 2,000. So, 5,000 na agad yun. Eh, bibili ka pa ng series. So, palagyan na natin tube mo. Pwede mong lagyan ng extension. Kano na yung extension. Palagyan natin 1,000. O kaya, bibili ka talaga ng series configuration na tube mode. Mas mahal yun, syempre. Pero palagyan na lang natin na plus 1,000, 6,000. Kung bibili ka lang ng extension, 6,000. Pero kung hindi ka lang bibili ng extension, bibili ka lang talaga ng series configuration. Let's say, ito. Um, yung ito, magkano siya? Nag-range ng 4,000 to 4,500. Kapag dalawa... Um, series din ng MCM, ganun din around that um, price range. So, 5,000 mo kanina dun sa dual parallel tsaka sa single band. 5,000 na plus 4,000 kapag series, 9,000. Kasi kapag extension na around 6,000 mas mura nga naman siya. But, um, still having this all-in-one mod that I can use in different configurations as you can see and also nakaabang yung para series configuration niya. Having this mod will give you a lot of options. Depende sa trick mo. If you wanna go compact, still hard hitting, just go with the single bat configuration. If you wanna do lower ohm builds, then go for the um, dual parallel configuration. And if you wanna, you know, um, warm to hot vapor na talagang in your face flavor, I suggest go for series. Um, really versatile uh, mod. Punta tayo sa rating. First, I, I would like to um, let you know na I'm considering the upgrades that are coming up for the possible upgrades since I know na pwede pang mabago yung itsura niya with um, you know after sales upgrades then I will not take it against them I mean the design um, some will say na luma yung design ang old school I prefer calling it classic classy and classic so para lang naka ano yan eh naka muscle car 
naka Mustang, naka classic BMW na tracker na motor. Alam mo yun? Some of you might not like it, but personally I like it. I like the design. And since modular siya, understandable naman yung dami ng pieces niya. I won't take it against them then. Yeah, my rating would be 9.5 out of 10. I'm not giving it um, a perfect rating kasi may cons tayong napansin or issues na napansin. Especially with the spring and also the gap with the um, series configuration. But everything else, they're really on point, you know, with the design and um, the functionality of the mod. Wala na ako masaya pang iba. This is a solid mod, guys. Definitely recommendable. If you want to purchase one, then uh, make sure to contact Sir James. I'll um, post the link of his group, his Facebook page as well, para ma-message nyo siya directly. I'll post the link below. And um, yung resellers niya rin. Ah, babanggitin ko pala yung resellers niya. So, yun pala. 6,900 yung Big Boss mod and the booster kit is at 3,500 pesos. Get yours now at the following shops. Vapors Icons Vape Shop Station 1 Las Piñas. Vapors Icons Vape Shop Station 2 Las Piñas as well. Vapetronics Trading Show Branch in Shaw Boulevard, uh, Mandaluyong. The Tiny Vape Shop Marikina. Vapors Sidewalk Paloocan. These are the um, uh, retailers locally. They also have one in Japan. Vape Hills Japan. Again, I'll post the link to their group. Um, Zito Mods Pilipinas. They also have a uh, Facebook fan page which is Zito Mods. Hindi ko lang sino retailers nito but I guess sa mga nabanggit na retailers, I believe they also have this um, Zito Wires. Stainless Steel 316L. What I have is the um, 22 gauge and the 24 gauge. Also, a good quality wires. Again, malambot. Uh, madali siyang i-build. Madali i-coil manually. I don't have a coil jig. Mas gusto kasi yung kinukoil talaga sa screwdriver. Uh, yun. Mas prefer ko siya. Mas fulfilling kapag narap niya ang maganda. Wala ko naging issue and hindi nyo na kailangan i-torch. As we all know, springy yung stainless steel na wires. Even with the higher gauge, the 24 gauge, wala ko naging issue. Kung wala doon sa mga shops na nabanggit, um, make sure to uh, send um, Sir James a direct message for orders. Especially for shop owners. You might want to inquire as a distributor or a retailer. Wala rin tayong issue dyan. Sir James really accommodating. Um, very down to earth and um, one of the kindest modders na na-meet ko. Again, kudos sa technical support ng Zito Mods. Um, yun, 10 out of 10. Yung masasabi ko, yun lang. That would be my uh, full review for the um, Big Boss Mod by Zito Mods. Hopefully, nakatulong tong um, video na to. Para sa mga nagpa-plano na bumili ng Big Boss Mod. Sa mga owners na, hopefully, nakatulong rin yung mga tips. That would be it. Um, of course, advocacy tayo. Always vape on, vape safe, and vape smart. Support local. Always, always support local um, or Pinoy-made products. Um, regardless, kahit hindi vaping products, um, support natin yung isa't isa. Always, always support your local vape shops as well. Tayo-tayo lang ang magkakasama rito. Tayo-tayo lang din magtutulungan. Kahit maraming event, yun, supportan pa rin natin yung mga vape shops natin. Your daily vaping needs. Um, yun. Tulad ng vapor Icons, kay Sir Levi's, maraming maraming salamat sa pagtulong sa akin kahapon. Actually, nagpa-grab ako ng juice. Ito, yung MDL tsaka yung Costa Mix. Kasi wala na akong juice. I just submitted a payment online. Then, nagbuka ako ng Grab um, Express. Wala pang one hour, nandito na. May libre pang sticker. Maraming maraming salamat. Yo Poppy Vlogs, make sure to check that page or that channel in YouTube. Subscribe na rin kayo. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, of course, Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Once you're already subscribed, make sure na naka-activate yung notification bell para pag may bago tayong content or bagong pinablish na videos, make sure na ma-notify kayo ni YouTube, okay? Don't vape where you can't smoke. Um, especially ngayon, mas nire-reinforce na nila yung um, smoking ban. Always vape on designated areas only. Especially ako sa BGC, ako tatrabaho and mas maigpit doon. Isa kahit medyo malaki nilalakad ko if I really wanna vape. Huwag tayong maging pasaway. Huwag maging, maging matigas yung ulo. And even nasa designated areas tayo for vaping or smoking, make sure na huwag tayong magka-cloud chase. Respeto pa rin sa mga kasama nating smokers and kapwa vapers. Stay hydrated and um, healthy lifestyle. Nag-vape na tayo. Tuloy-tuloy na natin yung healthy lifestyle natin. I guess that's it. Again, Andre Mo Vapes is back. I'll be um, publishing um, contents regularly. Not full time, of course, but um, mas madalas nyo kung makikita. I promise you that. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate your time. Medyo mahaba yung review since medyo marami, maraming pointers, maraming configurations, maraming parts. And yun, na-miss ko lang mag-record ng video. Kaya medyo marami rin ako sinasabi. Ang dal-dal ko, pasensya na. And yun, umaga na, maliwanag na. Um, 6.30 na ng umaga. Again, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is Andre of Andre Movapes. Till next video, guys. Peace out.